We know Trump is in. We know Biden is in. He's the incumbent. Unfortunately, also finding out that the governor at the time that I was in New Jersey tried to kill me off a $5 a month food stamp. $5. You heard me right. He's also in the race. And Nikki Haley is in the race. Okay. There are other candidates that might be coming in as well. And there's a lot that are coming in into the field. There's something that I got to tell you. And there's something that I get to get off my chest. So for a while I was thinking that I wasn't going to be able to run for president. Because of the fact that I don't have no money. Okay. I'm not like these big shots. Uh, the elite. That is in the field already. Okay. Okay, I missed uh, Iowa already. I missed the caucuses already. But there's still a few that, I mean, even uh, Ron DeSantos run a l- ran a little bit late. Why can't Why can't yours truly? Oh, I left the counter bag. But wait, let me tell you why I'm making this decision. Okay. So, every year in Congress has to give me a heart attack to live in fear because I am partly blind. Now, I have severe depression, PTSD, uh, general anxiety disorder because of my late wife, though, and then other stuff that came up later. But, lo and behold, this particular death ceiling crisis fight put me over the edge. I thought I wasn't going to run for, for president because the last time I tried to run for president, uh, I had to quit because this way, A, this was before my wife passed away. Okay. I also thought I was going to run in 2008, but then I ran for uh, Springfield House in uh, 135, which is definitely open. I started to try to run for, uh, run for that office. And I was also going to run for 2016, the first time uh, President Trump ran for office and actually won. Uh, this was pre my wife's sudden, uh, sudden death and didn't know how the heck I was going to survive. But what got me to the point that I quit was the Supreme Court allowing gay marriage to be legal. And I was furious, absolutely furious. Also, that my wife was furious, too. Okay. Because, you know, I was married to a woman. And of course, marriage is one man and one woman. I believe that. And I will continue to believe in that. One man, one woman. The first marriage of ever at all recorded time was Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Or not even Eve. Or Eve or Barbara, whatever. The first recorded marriage in the Bible was Genesis and Adam and A. That's what the first legal marriage was. And Pride Month should be illegal. We are headed into a Sodom and Gomorrah if we're not even already there. We got Pride Month with all these other different locations. Teens are celebrating. News organizations are celebrating. Why? Why? I don't. Fifty Country won't. Fifty Country LLC won't. But you know what? You know what? Today, I know the heat got me because it got me on several occasions. Because the one, I passed out a couple of times. Sometimes I. Couldn't even wake up that time, or had a problem with waking up at that time, but it had me thinking. Okay, there's other people that's going to be running for the race anyway. The race for. Okay, I'm just going to say it, the race for president of the United States of America. Okay. And. So you might be asking yourself, "Well, Prince DJ, what are you dragging that?" What are you talking about? I snapped. I officially snapped. I'm I'm using this as a protest. I am angry because people like us 
are always forgotten. Everything is always for the wealthy. Everything is always for the married family for children and the to hell with the single, the poor, the the the, the veteran and the seniors. I might have said that twice, but and the disabled. And then we have to get help until late. Then I said, as I woke up, I said, that's it. I may be a long shot, but I'm putting my hat into the uh, hat into the race. Okay. In order for us to never be forgotten ever again. In order for us to be whole. For order for the disabled. For people with disabilities. For people who are middle class. Who are struggling to just to put food on the table. Because of inflation and reflation. To our veterans who are continuing to be disrespected. Disrespected. I remember when I was coming, coming either coming here for the first time, or I was getting ready to go to one of my hotels. That veterans were being forced out of a hotel to make room for migrants. That was being disrespected and being forgotten. How dare you forget our veterans who fought for our country? How dare you? How dare you do that? For the one that fought for your right to operate a hotel. How dare there be class warfare between the rich and the poor. And then being priced out of living. And then wondering where, the, where, where you're going to have your next meal come out of. How dare the Freedom Caucus in Congress want to cut so many things to the point that we already can't even live and wondering if we're going to live or we're going to die. Well, I say no! No more! Because you want to know why? I will tell you why. I am excited to announce that on this day, June 26th, 2023, I, Deshaun Porter, a.k.a. Prince DJ, currently, right now, out of Houston, Texas, is running for President of the United States of America. That's right. I'm running for President of the United States of America. Of America. Now, I did say it on the, on the, uh, on a July 4th edition of Monopoly that was uh, already taped as a, as a joke. But this one is not a joke. This is real. I've already filed with the Federal Elections Commission already as of last night before I recorded it. And I also got a website that I'm temporarily using until I pay for a better website uh, for the campaign. I usually like to go with online candidates. Uh, that's my go-to uh, for a campaign website. This makes me mad. This made me so mad as a, a United States citizen to have to be a half nod while the rich will continue to live no matter if people can't, uh, can't uh, provide for their family. That makes me mad. That really drives me up the wall. I don't support that. I don't support that. And these cities are trying to defund the police when we need the police to protect our city, to protect from crime, both violent and non-violent crime. We need the police on the beat. But we need to teach them how to be good cops and not just shooting everybody just because they don't want to find out what the heck is going on. Because if we kill them, how in the world are we going to find out what's the motive of the crime? And what if some of the witnesses don't even want to talk? Okay? Just let them have life in jail if they found they're guilty. I thought the, the thing was innocent until proven guilty. That's what I've been taught. 
that's what I learned as a citizen of this great nation. There's too many times that people like us have been forgotten. There's too many times that we need clear and better direction for this country. We don't need fighting in Congress. We don't need two or three weeks just to find an elected speaker. We don't need months to negotiate a, a, a desolate deal and then it go down to the wire to the point that some of us are having a daggone heart attack. And then worry about if, if we are going to get our disability check or even food stamp. And then wind up having to panic buy just like I did. When I panic bought because I thought that they wasn't going to get a deal done the way that these children in the sea are running amok. If we ever going to get change, we have to change our, the way our nation is run. We have to amend the Constitution because the only way to go think about it is Everything in this country is driven by the Constitution. Everything is driven by the Bill of Rights. Everything is driven by we the people of the United States to form a more perfect union. Everything, everything is by the Constitution. Okay. And as your president... I want, I implore that we seek to help, you know, with some of us are still struggling because not only of the pandemic, that it took us so long to get back into recovery mode. It took us so long to get back the two years that we lost of our lives. And then the first part we was locked down, couldn't even do anything, lost freedom, Lost our identity, had to wear a mask every time we fly, and sometimes we can't even breathe, we can't even hear, but they don't even care. Then, forced, uh, forced, forced injection. It should be by choice. Mask should have been by choice, although people still wear mask now. I was even forced when coming coming back to the second palace coming back from the store to wear a mask when I didn't even want to. I told them I can't breathe or I can't hear. Nope. Couldn't even care less. It took too long to get to recovery. It's like it takes too long for everything to get done in this country. We need a new movement. This is the movement. Never be forgotten movement. Again. You know, I want to congratulate a champion who is joining the campaign for the first time. Now, this champion, he was he was on this show. He was on this very program. And I got to rebook him again to uh, talk about uh, talk about. Something that is coming up in August, I'll tell you what it is in a minute because this is tied up into everything. I want to introduce, I want to introduce my running mate for vice president of the United States. His name is Jared Easley from Podcast Movement and Podcast Movement Evolution. That's why, because originally, I was going to name uh, Jared Easley uh, because he was uh, uh, the um, influencer, influencer. He was named one of the influencers within the business community. Because I know I have voted for him to uh, be there. <laughs> but he had to be voted to get in there. But nonetheless, uh, I was going to vote. I was going to, um, I was going to nominate him or I was going to... Uh, Appoint him to be, you know, because after I appoint somebody, they have to be confirmed by the Senate. Uh, but I was going to appoint Jared for the uh, the secretary of the Small Business Administration. Uh, being the fact that he he 
holds conferences every year. He knows how to do it. He knows how to hire the right people. Uh, he knows how to get things in place. So uh, because of that, that's why I was going to give him the uh, – immediately was going to give him the uh, nomination for the Small Business Administration. But he said that, oh, I was hoping to become the vice president. Ding, 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 bingo. You want it? You got it. Congratulations. So, um, so podcast movement, uh, the, uh, never, the never be, for, uh, the never be forgotten again movement is definitely on. Not only podcast movement and podcast is my own, but now, boy, I have a friend who is running a VP. I, I'm excited. I am really, really excited. We are going to bring about good change. We are going to bring change that work. We are going to bring the change that ends the status quo. We are going to bring change that protects the men and women of blue. We are going to bring forth the change that will know that we, the poor, the veterans, the seniors, the middle class, we deserve to be in this country just like the rich, the wealthy, and the corporations, and those Republicans that wanted to help only the rich and the Rep- and the corporation. But let me say this, and I may make this clear: President Bush, one of the Bushes, and one of the Reagan, they worked together to get things done, and I know. If I want to work, to, if I want to get things done for our country, I would have to work with Republicans and Democrats. I want to negotiate as early as possible, so it don't get to the point where it almost messed us up as a country and our economy, not only in the country but in the world. Oh, and I can't, I can't forget, I live in the border state of Texas. Okay. Now, I happen to like President uh, President uh, Trump uh, policies in the the border, and we got to make sure that we seal the border and only let immigrants that's willing to go through the process legally. We need to make sure we made to make sure that we know who's coming into our country. So. I will have more reasons on why and more vision of what I want to do for this country. But the main run is to make sure that we never be forgotten again. No justice, no peace, no justice, no peace, no justice, no peace. If there ain't going to be no justice, there ain't going to be no peace. If there ain't going to be no justice, there ain't going to be no peace.